Purnamaste. Purnamaste and everybody welcome. Welcome to the art of the word that I am from the heart. Welcome. It's crazy that I am from the heart. I may be a master, but I'm completely different than everybody else, than majority, and I'm one of the millions. I'm born autistic, highly active autistic, you know, and to be autistic, it actually, it is not a disease. This is what I want to tell you in this video. Autism is not a disease. This world is sick and thinks that autism is disease. Autism is freedom of the mind. Freedom of the mind. You cannot get programmed in your mind. No one can program you. No one can control you in any way. And for they cannot program us, they cannot control us. It is considered that it is a disease. But it is not. This system is a disease. Mind is a disease. Autism is the protection from the source that we never get programmed in the mind. No one can control us. We don't blame ourselves. We are not our mind. So we never really become the mind. Like I was sexually abused, traumatized in this way, abandoned, uh, so many shit all my life, violence in youth. I left in India at age of 18, 19. I was so traumatized. I suffered in depression, anxiety, and so much destroyed by drugs and by childhood traumas and everything. But it didn't program me. It never actually programmed me. We don't live in the mind. We never did. That's why I healed everything. Autistic children, we are like cats. We feel everything in the moment, but we are not holding on to it. I never resented, I never blamed anyone, and actually my parents left me, I was abused then by somebody else, and really bad, 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 terrible things happened to me. But I never ever blamed them or myself. Autism is free of guilt. It happened in the moment. It traumatized me. I needed healing. But autism is freedom of the guilt. Freedom of guilt. Complete freedom of guilt. So I never blamed anyone. It happened in that moment, in next moment. It didn't happen. So I had nothing to forgive, but a lot, a lot, a lot to heal. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to heal. To master myself. Because I was never thinking I'm my mind. I was never blaming myself. I was always truthful and sincere, as crazy as that I am. Now I'm very much different. I never was thinking that I am my mind. So I cannot be normal like others when I'm enlightened master. I can only be crazy as that I am. You understand? We autistic children, we are truthful and sincere. We feel the energies, we go crazy, we tell you the most stupid shit, we kick and scream. 
but we have nothing to forgive because we always kick and scream we let everything out we don't blame ourselves we don't resent we don't do things for others that do not feel right to us and we do not put up with things that do not feel right to us we don't blame ourselves we just don't and we don't blame anyone else we truthfully and sincerely tell you, get the fuck out of here, Mr. Guru. These girls in my class should touch your feet and they all should be your guru. You are deceiving people. You are telling me here, good morning, good night, good evening, my dear. Your comments are completely material. All these girls in my class should be your guru because you are acting like an idiot. But there's no resentfulness in this. There's no blame in this. I just don't like him coming and saying, Good evening, how are you? How are you is duality. Good and bad. Thinking in good, thinking in bad. Illusion of this world. I'm free of that. I'm a spiritual master and I told him don't do this. So I'm truthful and sincere. When he comes, I tell him crazy things. But I don't resent. I don't blame. I let it out. For I will block him soon. For he just, three days he listens, then again, how are you, good evening, my dear, are you British? <laughs> you see, this is what I mean. To be truthful and sincere to how you feel, to everyone, that's autism. I feel what he is doing. I'm not doing to him and I ask him to stop doing and he's not stopped doing it. It feels like shit. I'm truthfully and sincerely expressing that shit letting me out. We cannot be no other than truthful and sincere. We have no guilt. But until we have mastered ourselves, until we healed, I had to work 20 years meditation to reach enlightenment, to heal my traumas. I really realized that I'm not my mind. To get rid of that guilt that was actually not controlling me but was there because I was raised by Blame, 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 blame. I'm never good enough. You're never good enough. If I was not autistic, I would be completely fucked up. I had a lot to heal. But I feel like I had a lot to heal only. And when I was not a master, when I couldn't express myself, I kicked and screamed. I kicked and screamed. No one can control us. No one can take our freedom away from us. You know. No one can try. And in this world, we are free of human suffering. We are free of human mind. We maybe have little guilt, I don't know. We could. But we don't control, we don't blame, we leave everyone alone. And we don't blame ourselves, even if there's any guilt programmed, it's not programmed, it's not controlling us. We are free of guilt. We are free of guilt. And an autistic child feels, hey, I am free, I am free, you are trying to control me, change me, consume my energy, get my energy, you violating me, you try to take my freedom away, an autistic child kicks and screams. I know I did. I know I did. All my childhood, all my youth, I was kicking and screaming. No one could change me. No one could change me. Ever. Really. 
So you see, we autistic children, we are so free. We are so free. No one can control us. No one can program us in our mind. And therefore, because they cannot control us, they cannot program us in their mind, they call us that we are sick and that we are not socialized human beings. They say that we are not socialized human beings. Now the thing is that the problem of humanity is human mind try to change everyone and control anyone. Full of guilt, full of blame. And we are free of that. We are free of their problem trying to enslave us. And autistic child feels, feels the shit in your mind what you're doing. Feels the shit in your mind what you're doing. And feels these are the problems, suffering, karma. It doesn't feel right. And these are the causes of all bad karma and all suffering. And autistic child is so sensitive, feels everything and then starts kicking and screaming. Because an autistic child feels, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. You are not, you're trying to enslave me. I have right to be free. I have no guilt about being free. I'm not trying to change you. <laughs> then you see, you cannot do nothing to these children. You cannot control them. Then you say that they are sick because this world is sick and wants to control everyone with their mind. And mine is the problem that enslaves this world and tries to control everyone. And that's why autistic children kick and scream. Like, we are here to teach you that everyone is free, that you cannot control anyone. If you would not control each other, try to change each other, we would not have to come in this condition to show you that you cannot control us and we will kick and scream if you try to control us. You know, if you try to control us, we will kick and scream. Because what we feel, we are allergic to the mind. We actually feel, our first sight is feeling. We feel, we are so sensitive, we are so sensitive, we feel everything, we don't care about the words, about the mind, but we feel the energy, we only care about energy, and when you are trying to convince, to push, to resist, to change us, we feel the mind, we feel the mind, the cause of all suffering, we feel the problems of humanity. Human beings are not free. And we are like, let us be free. You are not free of your mind. If you would uh, set each other free and yourself, you would not have to come in this condition. And then we kick and scream. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. And you cannot stop kicking and screaming. You cannot stop kicking and screaming. You cannot stop kicking and screaming. And we are so sensitive. We don't live in the mind. We feel everything and we feel all the problems of humanity that you are unconscious of. And I know people have promised me things, given me words, and then they broke. They have lied to me. And I was like, <laughs> and my friend Oksana, she was telling me, Purna, Purna, these are human beings, these are human beings. But it's not right, it's not right. These are human beings, they lie, they deceive, they cheat. These are human beings, Purna. Hey, these are human beings. Why? But I don't do that. To be truthful and sincere always, autistic children, we don't pretend, we don't people please, we don't lie. And we truthfully and sincerely get angry at you like I get at Mr. Guru and comments. 
then we are also truthful and sincere. If we give you our word, if we promise, if we say something, we keep it. And if we cannot do it, we take it back. We come to you, we say, I'm sorry, I cannot do it. I'm so sensitive and don't allow any shit from anyone because I'm giving no shit to no one. And if I give my word, I keep my word. I respect energy of everyone unconditionally. You know, it's like, it's like, I'm free, I'm free, and I love to be free, and I have been born autistic, and then I worked for total, I was free all my life, but I worked for total freedom, for enlightenment all my life, and I know what I'm here for, I know what I'm here for, I'm here for only to make videos, to write, and you get the answer within, it has nothing to do with me. Or you give a beautiful love, give, give a heart, give a picture, give something, don't give me your mind. For I am autistic baby, born allergic to the mind, and now when I'm enlightened, what I was before kicking and screaming about, I feel and translate and perceive, and I can teach out of you just saying one thing. Like Mr. Guru saying, how are you? I can see he's not a guru, he's not enlightened, he's in duality, he is people pleasing, pretending, and he wants to be a guru. You feel the energy, and you can articulate. You feel when people violate you, seek negative attention, gaslight you, and you can articulate it so well that actually you can make a long, profound video about gaslighting. So you see, it becomes greatest mastery. It becomes greatest mastery for I was born, I felt everything, I never became my mind, feeling was my first sight, I never blamed myself. So now, the things that I was kicking and screaming about, even then I never cared about what people say, what they convince me in the mind. Energy never lies, mind does. So, I'm sorry, I don't talk things out, I don't debate, I feel the energy and I feel clearly. And when people want to talk out and debate and convince me, I felt the causes of humanity problem, attachments, control, resistance in that. What do you want to talk about? Oh! Then we articulate and teach about what we were kicking and screaming before. Because we were kicking and screaming only about problems of humanity. Mind trying to control, resist, change, you know, enslave others. And we are so free. We set you free. We let you be free. And... No one can take our freedom away. I'm just like same. I'm like, I do my work, I create videos, I do my articles. I'm free. I don't have to check the tags on Facebook, go on your Facebook pages and like this. Frankly, I'm here only to teach, to create, and you get the answer within. And I'm not here for messenger. I'm not here for comments. And everything else, I'm not here for. And therefore, when people want to start something with comments, when people want something in messenger from me, I'm free. And there's things I don't like. And what I don't like, I'm free of. I don't want to suffer in. I give you my word. And then I feel like you want to control me. You want my energy. Personally, you come into the inbox and you want something. You just demand my energy. You want to control me. I'm free. And you want my energy in comments. You want my energy in comments. You want me to deal with you. You want... No, I'm free. I worked all my life so hard to be free. I will not now suffer for you. And that's why... I am as I am, because create these comments and everything, and 
all this Facebook shit has nothing to do with me. I'm here to teach so you can set yourself free of your mind. You know, autistic children, no one can control us. And when you want something in Messenger, when you want something in comments, when you want something from me, I feel like you want to control me. Because I'm not here for that. I don't want nothing from you. I'm not come to take your energy like this to enslave you. I'm not your master, I'm not your guru. No. I'm free. For like I told you, I'm here only to write, to make videos, and the answer is within you. And that's why I'm so allergic on everything when people want this and that and this and that from me. Because I give peace to everyone and I teach so others could get free of their mind. I do a lot. I don't... Messenger is the worst thing for me in my life, for it feels trapped in a prison. I literally get... Doesn't feel right, it's not for me. Comments also, if I would have to deal with you, you have to understand I'm allergic on the mind. And I feel the mind, and people tell me one word, and I feel all their problems, I feel books translated. No, oh, I'm free. And I feel like I freed myself from my karma, I don't want to experience your minds and your karma. Okay, you showed me, I will create the article, I will teach about it so you can get free, but it, it's not my problem, don't enslave me with it, I cannot save you. But I can teach and make a video so you can save yourself. You know, you know, <laughs> that's why we are free and we're not enslaving you and no, no, I'm crazier than I am and I remain free. You know, because this world is enslaved. Autistic children, we are free. But until enlightenment, we suffer very much. But after enlightenment, you got poor now. You are a crazy man. Because we cannot pretend, we cannot people please. We can be only truthful and sincere to what we feel. And now when I'm enlightened in your comments, I feel everything. And... I have no guilt, I'm crazy as that I am, but you have to take this as a comedy, as a joke. I can go, this your crazy mind is doing all this shit, you dang do No, get a message within. I am trying to, I'm pulling a joke because I'm so sensitive, I feel everything. And I'm autistic, I cannot pretend and people please, I can only be truthful and sincere. And I'm enlightened spiritual master, I can articulate whatever I feel. Take it as a joke, he's just crazy, he's... Not like others, he has no guilt, he doesn't blame me. He just don't like that energy that I brought with my mind. And maybe I'm unconscious of it, but he feels it. Like I know spiritual masters in India, they always felt the problems in my mind that I was unconscious of. And then I realized that they did. Also when I get angry at you, also when I have a strange comment, I feel the problems that you are unconscious of, the causes of all your problems. You know. So this is what it's with me. That's why I can go crazy. I can say this stupid bitch can go to confession. Mr. Guru, you need to wash feet of all ladies in my class. You are a scum. You're deceiving people uh, because you are a guru. It's free your uh, slaves and like this shit I say. I say crazy as shit. I'm a haoka. I'm a comedian. And autistic. I don't mean it. I only express myself what you brought to me doesn't feel right. And like spiritual master only responds to the mind that you bring to us. And you know. Then, because I'm autistic, I'm different. And then I have no guilt. I'm truthful and sincere. And I'm crazy as that I am. I love the word fuck and beautiful things. And then I go fucking crazy, but. I don't blame you, I don't mean anything, I'm only letting it out. So you maybe bring your unconsciousness to consciousness. But being crazy as that I am, and autistic, 
an enlightened this is insanity so whatever you will think about me you will always get your crazy mind because I'm so different. I'm born on full moon in June, uh, Gemini also. Uh, I am a super blood moon and like this, that kind of stories, you know. And I'm an empath. I'm a feminine soul. I'm a divine fool and I'm a spiritual master. You cannot figure me out. I'm autistic. Whatever you think is your mind. And then you give me your mind. And like uh, autistic children, we are allergic to the mind that cause of all your problems that we are free of. And then I go crazy. And then I go crazy. So don't. But if you feel, you will get the word that I am as a joke and you will laugh from the heart. You will laugh from the heart. Yes. I never blamed anyone. I never resented anyone. I only like a cat expressing it out. The next moment I'm okay. It is like autism. It's so beautiful. It is like feeling. It's my first sight. I feel the energy. And this was all my life so, but I couldn't really articulate and I was traumatized and I had a lot of stuff to heal. I had to come to my true self, you know. Had some fears, had some guilt, but they didn't never control me, I had no guilt. No one can change me, I never blame myself. But there was program guilt, there was this and that. I had to master myself to realize really that there's no guilt. I had to master myself that problem is not within me, that problem is in humanity that blames me. And I had to release this, and I had to master to realize. Maybe some attachments, maybe some fear. And I really had to master to realize that I am a master already and so sensitive that I feel everything so profoundly things that people are unconscious within themselves and they are not ready even to see and reveal within themselves that's why I believe that autism is I feel autism is greatest gift of greatest masters like Jesus Buddha Krishna because we feel so profoundly we feel everything and even when we are not enlightened we feel everything so profoundly that we kick and scream all problems of humanity and then when we master ourselves we feel so clearly we feel so clearly we feel so clearly then we can really speak about what we were kicking and screaming about because we were kicking and screaming about the problems of humanity trying to control, change, gaslight, uh, socialize and you know no one could enslave us we are completely free so they said this is the problem because they could not control us, they could not program us. We were kicking and screaming. And although we get some guilt, we get some fear, little bit of mind, but we always remain free. We always remain free of guilt. And we were like, I'm free, you are not. You go control yourself, it is your problem. And then we go kick and scream. <laughs> and I'm here really, completely different. What everybody loves in this world, enlightened man doesn't, if he's autistic or not. Because he sees the karma. He sees what it really is. What is day for everyone else is karma. Suffering, the mind. It's night for him. And then when you speak these things, I speak it out. I speak on it. I speak what I feel. But because I'm autistic and so sensitive on social media, it's not what I'm here to do and makes me suffer in it and this. And because I'm crazy as that I am truthful and sincere and also disturbed by comments because this is not what I'm here to do. I'm here to create videos to like this, you know. And then I can go 
completely crazy in the comments. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes when there's too much pressure. Otherwise, okay. In person, I can speak for two hours with somebody. I cannot stand phone. So you have to understand social media. I'm here to write, to create videos. And that's why I'm strange in comments and like this. For I'm not here to do that. And like autistic, from birth I know. Why are you trying to control me? This is not what I'm here to do. Why are you trying to take my freedom away? You know. So, like this. Autism, actually you want to control everyone, you want everybody to be same, not to be weird. Humanity has a problem with accepting the different. And autism is completely different because we never think we are our mind, or what our feeling is our first sight. We are truthful and sincere, no one can control us. And To everyone we are truthful and sincere. We don't allow no one to enslave us with what doesn't feel right. And that's why no one can control us and that's why they labeled it as a mental disease. And actually we are so different, so different from birth, completely different of everyone else. And if you would set each other free, set others free, stop controlling them, and you would accept different people in this world, not trying to change them, then we would not have to come completely different to show you that no, you cannot control us, you cannot enslave us, even if you do. We are free of your problem. We are free of your mind that try to control us. And because in this world you cannot accept different, we come so different. And you cannot change us. So you have to accept that we are different. And we kick and scream. Yeah. Because if you would accept others to be free as you want to be, you would be free and they would be free. If you would accept differences, we all would live in heaven. We would let everyone be. And somebody had to come yesterday and tell me, Oh, Purna, you know, but I feel, I feel it's also sensitivity is great part for autistic children. Uh, you know, I was teaching two years about autism and sensitivity. This is new topic I'm opening that no one can control us. And just because I didn't say, she had to say, I know about autistic children. I worked about them. It has great deal with sensitivity. Fuck, bitch. I was teaching two years about sensitivity and autism, how sensitive I am. And now in one article, in one small post, I didn't write this. And you worked with autistic children. You work with autistic children and you know, you know, I'm so sensitive I made a video to, to today. And that's why they kicked and scream at you. Because you know, you know in your mind. You want to control the truth in your mind. You know it. Control the truth. But the truth is in being from birth and speaking out of being. And that's why we kick and scream, you want to control. You even come to autistic man, to autistic enlightened master. And you have to tell him, I know, I know it's great part sensitivity and I am most sensitive. So sensitive on the mind I'm allergic on and I want peace. And I am autistic, you work with them. And actually I'm teaching about sensitivity. What are you teaching me? That they are sensitive, I know I'm most sensitive. And that's why they kicked and scream at you. For your mind has to control the truth. Even come to autistic master, tell him that you know about autistic children. You know. But we are here. We are free of your mind. And we are here to teach you that you are not your mind. And the truth is in being, knowing you are not your mind. And that's why I speak as an autistic baby. But I didn't teach until I reached enlightenment, until I realized there's no mind and there's no guilt, there's no fear. They were never controlling me anyway. 
but I had people and I realized that we are so different than everyone else and you see so you would accept us but you see my page you see my page you see my page scroll down my page I am teaching same things as Jesus and Buddha would so you can set you free from human suffering your mind but because I'm different you see how many likes I have because I'm different I'm not like everyone else I'm not people pleasing pretending messaging living on Facebook I'm not you cannot control me. You cannot change me. You cannot let me do for you on Facebook what you want. You cannot do to me on Facebook what feels shit to me and just write whatever you want. And I'm so different that just because I'm so different, you can see how many likes are on my page. Because you cannot accept differences. Because you think that you can do to everyone. Comment whatever you want. Everyone should message with you. Everyone should check your posts. And you don't care for autistic baby master. Who actually is meditating a lot. Working on himself. Creating the teachings that would actually save you from your mind. If you would follow them. And because I'm so different like everyone else, I stop the mind, I smash the mind, I'm truthful and sincere, as all the autistic children are, you cannot accept me. And I'm actually giving you the teachings that could set you free of your mind. But you cannot control me, get their energy uh, for them to do what they do to you. You cannot do to me, you cannot control me like you can control them. And you cannot accept that I'm different, and that's why you're leaving. <laughs> yeah. But we came here to teach you that you have to accept the difference. Different. And I'm an enlightened master who's different than all awakened people. Alien amongst aliens. And the fact is, because I'm different, I'm not acting, and you cannot do to me what you can do to all others. Because I'm enlightened and autistic. Because I'm different. You cannot control me. And they don't like me so much. Millions are to come. You know. For I'm free of guilt, free of fear. I feel everything. I'm free of human suffering. And I can articulate everything what I was kicking and screaming about in profoundest words. So now I spoke as love that I am, spiritual master that I am, being the true that I am, an autistic baby from birth that I am. So you may know that I'm different and you cannot control me and change me. But I love you like autistic children, we love you. We never do to you what you never do to us. We give you peace, we give you love, we only kick and scream if you are trying to control us in so many ways. If you cannot accept, we are free and different. I give you my word. Thank you for being part of the word that I am. May you become free of the mind like I am from birth. And you know what? And also, baby. Uh, baby. <laughs> Shit, that's what you girls think, crazy things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> May you realize you are not your mind. Your mind is blaming you for who you are, cannot accept different. I want to change everybody in you, but you are not your mind. Thank you. And if anybody feels like you want to offer a donation to this little baby, you know what? You are so free to offer a donation and I appreciate it so much. But I will not do to you anything. I'm free. I'm free. You will not control me for money. You will not enslave me with money. You know? But I appreciate your gift so much. And if there is any uh, blessing in this enlightened heart, may you receive everything in giving we receive. Maybe a lot here, for I am the truth that I am speaking. And I do, I don't do anything what doesn't feel right to me. You cannot control me for money. But I will do something from the heart. I don't use messenger in these things. So don't message me there. But you have my word. In PayPal, I see your message. In PayPal, I see your 
email ad address, nothing else I need but your email address. I'm so clairsentient, I'm so sensitive. I was born feeling first sight, so now you cannot imagine how sensitive I am. Like Buddha, I feel the things in you that you are not aware within yourself, but I cannot be personal advisor, I would go crazy. But I don't need anything, I only need to see your email address, I connect with your energy and I do most profound healing on you with my best energy for your best energy given to me. That's what I do. That's what I do. You know? That's what I do. I will not say anything. I will not. I cannot heal you, but you have my word. I do quantum white light source healing distant. No appointment needed. You don't need to stand still. It's quantum beyond time and space. You only have my word that I'm gonna do it. You only have my word that I'm gonna do it. But your faith heals you. As much as you work on yourself, you heal yourself. I only give you my word I'm gonna do the best healing in you. If you accept differences and you start blaming yourself, stop changing yourself for others, and you just free as I am, whatever doesn't feel right, you walk away, it wants to control you. You don't do what doesn't feel right. And you accept others as they are, you don't try to change them. And you accept different, being different as yourself as I am. You heal yourself, you save yourself from all human suffering. But if you, others can control you, others you do what doesn't feel right to you. You blame yourself, you are not good enough, you put up with what doesn't feel right to you. You, others control you, cannot accept that you are different, so you change yourself, you want to control others, and you cannot accept that they are different. Then, then we have a problem. No one can heal you. My healing can help you only to suffer one day less. But my healing can work on you as much as you work on yourself. I saw miracles performed, and I saw nothing. It's you. How much you receive, how is your faith, and you work on yourself, that much healing works on you. And I want to give you my word, as crazy that I am, autistic that I am, I'm going to do healing on you, you heal yourself. And everybody, love me as I am, for I came into this world to teach that we can be different, completely different than everyone in this world. I'm not of this world. This world is shit, it wants to control autistic children. But no one could control us. We are free and you cannot do anything about it. And that's why you say we are sick. For you are sick, enslaved in your mind. I give you my word. Purnamaste, Purnamaste. <laughs>